Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be going over exactly how you can use this brand new and amazing AI software tool to find leads for you, to scrape the internet for data, to take your current lead list or your current data and enrich it, validate it, verify it, nurture it. So many exciting things with this software tool guys. So I'm going to show you exactly how I would set this up taking an example of, let's say, my go high level SaaS agency, or maybe I'm running a marketing agency and I wanna go find specifically businesses in my niche in a certain area location, and I don't wanna go all over the internet on Google Maps and all of these things. And so Clay is gonna be that tool for you. Once again, it is pretty much a Google Sheet on steroids consolidating APIs. It might sound a little confusing, but you can imagine a Google Sheet where the columns themselves can actually perform actions for you. So I'm gonna run you through an example. We're actually gonna set this up right now, imagining that we're gonna be trying to acquire more clients with it. So this is a customer acquisition tool, outbound prospecting tool. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and go into Clay. If you haven't created a Clay account, I'll leave a link down below. It is free, you will get a certain amount of free credits per month. If you do sign up, you also will get free bonus credits with my link as well. So just let me know down below as well if you want to do that. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna go ahead and create a table. And as you can see, it's gonna give us a bunch of examples of different tables that we can set up. And so definitely look through these and see what you you know want best. But as you can see, there are some examples like find people with a Google search, find people from Apollo, uh, find import contacts from close, um, find local businesses using Google Maps. So we're gonna use this one specifically, finding local businesses using Google Maps. So let's go ahead and take where I'm from, Cincinnati, Ohio, and let's imagine that I wanna target, you know, businesses specifically in Cincinnati, Ohio, within a radius of, you know, give or take, let's say, specifically for business types, right? And it's gonna give us a drop down of specific businesses. So I actually really used to work with a lot of roofing companies. So let me do roofing companies. I also used to work with a lot of car detailing. Let's see if they have car, car wash. Okay, they have car wash. And then let's say one more business that I used to work with a lot. Let's go ahead and say um, restaurant. Let's do hamburger restaurant. Okay, so these are the three types of, let's say, businesses that I'm targeting. And now we can get you know, a specific number of results. For this example, we're gonna go ahead and pull 50 total results with this so that we can make sure we're staying within our limit of credits. Now I'm going to just say, let's create a new blank table, right? This is gonna be very easy, guys. It's completely no code. Um, but the hardest part is understanding you know, what you're gonna be using this for. And so now what is it gonna do? It's gonna go ahead and import all of those businesses. So as we could see, it went ahead and gave us some chain restaurants that we're not gonna be wanting to target, right? So Wendy's, McDonald's, Shell, these are all businesses we can't necessarily target, but something like the Turk Club, you know, we might, might wanna be able to target them. Um, but yeah, it looks like these are not the type of businesses that we are specifically looking for. So let's go ahead and do this once again with a different you know, specific client avatar. So maybe we wanna refine it and be a little more specific because we said burger restaurant, right? Um, so we're gonna do, once again, Cincinnati. All right, so we're doing roofing contractors and let's go ahead and pull 50 roofing contractors and we're gonna do a new blank table. So as we'll see right here on the right, it's going ahead and starting to pull these roofing companies for us. As you'll see, it has the name of them, the Google Maps URL, some type of description in their Google My Business, if such, their website, their phone number, their address, their rating, their reviews count, right? So now I can filter this by least amount of reviews. Maybe I wanna target my marketing services towards people with the least amount of reviews. So I can now filter this by certain, you know, under amount of reviews. I can also say maybe I wanna target businesses with no website. So then I can create a filter that says, give me all the businesses with no website. But this guys is just one example of how to use Clay. But we're gonna go ahead and take it a step further and show you guys what I mean by its ability to do other things. So let's imagine that we wanted this company's email, right? It's given us their phone number, their website, everything else, but it really hasn't given us their email. So we're gonna wanna find their email 
using this database. So we're going to go ahead and add another column, and we are going to do enrichment. All right, let's say that now I want to go and find their Facebook, right? So we can actually add the enrichment right here with Facebook, and I can click on here and do Facebook, and we're going to take their company domain, which is their website right here, and then we're going to go ahead and run this and see all of them, which ones have Facebook. So we're going to run this for all of these columns right here. And what are you going to see? As you'll see, it was able to find the exact um, Facebook profiles for the companies and provide their URLs. So now I'm going to run these as well. And we're going to see what this column is doing as well. And it is going ahead and finding more Facebooks right here. And so now we can see that uh, we have gone ahead and found one, two, three, four Facebooks, it looks like. And so this is the exact now Facebook of these individuals. So now that we have their Facebook, we can do so many other things like adding, we can find their address, their company profile, their company Twitter account, their competitors, their country, their description, domain, Facebook, found a date, Instagram, right? So let's go ahead and see Instagram. Let's see if we can find their Instagram off of this information right here. And let's run 10 rows and see if it can start to find their Instagram. Boom. So it was able to find two, three Instagrams out of the following. So you can imagine that with a lot of data, this could be super helpful where you can take an existing amount of data or your existing lead list and try and find more information on the web about them. Or if you don't have a lead list, you can do like what I just did where it'll scrape the internet, then take that data and try and find more information. But in the day and age we live in in 2025 now, guys, you can use tools just like this to rely on new customers. And what's even cooler is that after we have all this data and information, one of the most important parts of Clay is that it can actually uh, use its built-in Clay agent, which is its own chat GPT, and it can draft an email, guys. So it can draft a hyper-personalized email and this is going to be done through the uh, Clay Agent AI Web Researcher. It can do content creation um, like this, or it can even search the web, guys. So um, use with this information as you please. You can see it can use uh, Anthropic Cloud OpenAI Clay Agent. And from here, I can ask it to simply write a hyper-personalized email for me using the data that I have now found. I could maybe find a local coffee shop based off of their location. I could also find their total amount of reviews and put it back into the email and the copy itself. But now every single lead that I have can have its own hyper-personalized AI copy in the outbound email. So this is super interesting, guys. If you don't have leads or if you do have leads, Anybody can use this, and it's not even just for lead generation. You can use this for other types of data inside of your business and other actions that you'd like for Clay to perform. But I totally recommend that you guys check this out. I wanted to give you a walkthrough of how to set it up and how to kind of get familiar and use it. I think that this would be super helpful to then take these leads once you've gone ahead and cleaned all of them up and gotten all of their data put them back into your CRM and start firing off those calls, those texts, or those emails. But if you guys like this video and you wanna see me put this to the test in my own agency, in our clients' businesses, and even inside of our community, then make sure you comment down below the word Clay, as well as like and subscribe. I'm gonna be dropping a ton more use cases, templates, videos going over this amazing software tool. I think everybody in 2025, if you saw my last video, is going to be either selling this or using it inside of their company. So don't be the one who you know doesn't learn this, doesn't start using it. Definitely check it out, see if it applies to your business or your clients. You're gonna provide a ton of additional value, whether it's inside of your organization or to your clients. So thank you guys once again. And you can also check out my links down below where you can follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, join our Systems Integrator School community, get our free AI course, and even work with myself one-on-one. -on -one. I'll leave those links down below, but in the meantime, I'll see you guys.